Women have a different body than of men and thus they have different requirements for inner wear. Women use a brassiere which is an undergarment that is designed to provide support and coverage to their breasts. Bras are said to be discovered in the 19th century and since then they have evolved a lot. Now bras have also become fashionable clothing. There are a gazillion types of bras available for different purposes from enhancing the cleavage to make the breast appear fuller to giving small breast a gentle life to make them look sexy. We have it all. A lot has changed since ancient Greece, which is the first record of women binding and supporting their breasts. And the most of that has occurred within the last 100 years. Today brassiers come in a seemingly endless stream of shapes, colors, styles and price tags, some of which can reach upwards of dollar 30 million. But the modern bra as we had might now has humble beginning that stem back to 1889 in Paris. 1910 The French inventor Hermine Cadol is credited today with the invention of the modern bra after she first presented her corset gorge which translate to corset divided in two at a Paris fashion exhibition in 1889. Also, the first to use elastic in lingerie, Cadol wanted to make a garment that allowed for functionality, not just appearance and for good reason. The aches and pain that came from a lifetime of corset wielding which was the practice for more than 100 years. weren't just uncomfortable the stifling contraptions had serious medical implications including the disformation of ribs and misalignment of the spine in those who donned it for extended lengths of time 1920 in the meantime things were happening over in the united states too the look in the 20s was very much a flat one and that's for a few reasons for one the corsets that pushed up breast and brought in waist were made of a lot of metal which npr reports was needed for ammunition and military supplies during world war 1 in 1917 the us war industry board reportedly asked american women to stop buying them all together and 28000 pounds of steel was instead used to build two battleships around the same time in 1914 to be exact new york socialist mary phelps jacob patented the first modern bra in american after sewing two pocket handkerchiefs and pink ribbons together So she could dance freely in her gown at a Manhattan debutante ball without a corset. Parking through. It was the talk of the party and uh, she sold the patent to Warner Brothers Corset Co for dollar 1500. It is the 1930s is when cup sizes were invented as bras were initially made from the one size fits all style still observed in some bandy tops today. As for the where the credit is due There's some dispute over whether it was William and Ida Rosenthal of Maiden Form or the company SH Camp and Co who actually developed the measuring system and its corresponding letters but it came just as underwear and clubs were introduced to blossoming industry. The very famous torpedo style of the bra was famous because of Madonna's famous Jean Paul Gaultier brassiere she wore during her blonde ambition tour in 1990 but it was initially popularized because of the second great war. Women were required to get to work on the production lines as their husband, brothers and fathers headed off to fight and it was claimed the pawns offered extra protection in the workplace. 1950 The bullet bras of the 40s were stitched long line to be conical and uh, gave more of a support silhouette for women who wanted to look exactly like the leading ladies of their time, Lana Turner, Jane Russell and Marilyn Monroe who turned the bra into a fashion item. When looking towards the Indian context it is believed that the concept of bras came in prominence with colonialization and it wasn't popular until abrahamic religions entered india however we have stories like the channa revolt that took place in the early 1800s in travancore modern day kerala in 19th century travancore it was a socially acceptable norm for women to be seen naked from waist up in public places Higher caste women like the nurses were expected to bear their upper bodies only in temples in front of the priests who were considered an authority of god but lower caste women the toddy taping sharnas or nadas being an example were not allowed to wear a cloth over their breast in public as a matter of fact bearing your breast in front of members of the higher caste was seen as a display of respect If any women disagreed with the practice they were obliged to pay a breast tax a mula karam whose amount was determined quite secretly by the size of their breasts It was the women of the Nadar community who initiated a change against it 
they declared they wanted to have the right to dress however they want they did get the right to be dressed as per their convenience but partially in 1813 perhaps to contain the inevitable chaos and to please the upper classes at the same time the diwan judicial officer of the travancore court colonel john munro took a step while indian women were hanging free in the west women's undergarments were dominated by the corset which pushes the breast upward and it's seen by many as a symbol of female subjugation 1960 not really popularized until the 1990s the wonder bra was actually invented in 1964 by designer louis poirier for canadian company candel while many today associate it with the sexy and full form bust we have come to appreciate in many of today's top models the look was initially described in europe as pageant which means peasant breasted in french 1970 For being as widespread as it is, it may be surprising to learn that the sports bra was only invented in 1977, and it was initially called the jock bra, so named because its first design was literally made from two jock straps sewn together. 2000. This is where things start getting really, really expensive. Victoria's Secret began bedazzling bras in 1996 with Claudia Schiffer's Million Dollar Miracle bra which is an ad we are not trying to push out of your minds anytime soon. Here, Giselle Bundchen models the dollar 15 million red hot fantasy bra which was the most expensive piece of lingerie ever created until 2006 when Susan Rosen designed a bra worth dollar million 20. The idea that provocative lingerie is the only domain of the rich, famous and urbanized is untrue. The demand for such lingerie has percolated through different rugs of our economy. Just as the bra liberated women from the corset of a century ago, it's important to remember the women who fought to get the freedoms we have today when it comes to their own bodies though. I think the bra has so many connotations today. It's upon the wearer to decide what it symbolizes for them. Today we women ourselves are custodians of how we want the bra to be an instrument of sexuality.